Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bitterman Studios, and uh, so I'm coming back to talk about GUI layouts, which work well with Windows, uh, since we just covered that video. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work off of the same exact scene I was working on last time. Um, so I'll open up my window, my GUI window class, and what I'm going to do is show you something other than this new rect that we have for our button here. Uh, we're going to do what's called a GUI layout. So if you type in GUI layout um, and then put your dot operator, you'll see there's a bunch of stuff. Begin area, horizontal, box, all this stuff. And we'll go over this soon enough. But for now, we're going to just do button. And in this button, all we need to do is pass in its content, which could be an image, but I'm going to pass a string, call it button. And uh, no rectangle needed. Now what I can do is uh, show you what it looks like. So if I go back and hit play, you can see this button fills up the entire space, which is pretty awesome. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. So what we can do now is uh, do a GUI layer or layout, sorry, and let's do space, uh, and let's put 15 pixels of space. And then let's create another button, and let's call it another button, and hit play. Now I have two buttons, and there's 15 uh, pixels of space in between those two buttons. So I'm going to go ahead and write out a simple layout that you uh, may wind up doing, so just to show kind of the flow. And so what I'm going to do is do a GUI layout dot label. I'm going to say here is cool stuff. And then I'll do GUI layout dot begin vertical and GUI layout dot end vertical and I'm going to do two of these, so I'm going to just copy that vertical and paste it. Now my first button I'm going to paste into the first vertical and my second button I'm going to paste into my second vertical. So I have a uh, GUI layout label, here's some cool stuff, uh, then a button and a vertical layout and another button and a second vertical layout. What you'll find is that I have created uh, these kind of verticals, you can't really tell, I guess. Um, let's change these to horizontal. That'd be in horizontal and dot end horizontal. And let's copy that down, replace vertical with horizontal. Now let's press play. And that did nothing interesting. That should have. Let's do a begin horizontal. And then inside of the begin horizontal, GUI layout dot begin vertical. So let's begin a vertical and let's end a vertical. GUI layout dot, <coughs> excuse me, end vertical. And let's just copy this. Let's paste it inside of that there. And let's change this one to say another button. Oh. So, uh, maybe this will do what I've been trying to do this whole time. Now if I hit play, there it is. We have uh, buttons side by side, so we've created, in essence, columns. The reason this one's bigger is because it has more text. If this one just said button, I believe it should just go half and half. So let's, uh, there we go, half and half, because uh, one doesn't have more text than the other. So uh, you can see that, here, let me put some spacing in here so it's not all crammed together like this. Okay, so we have a horizontal, a begin and end vertical, which has a button inside. We can add more stuff. I can uh, make button two and button three, and this one, um, let's paste a couple. Let's make this four, five, and six. Save this, press play. And there we go, we have button, two, three, four, five, six. So we've created two columns of buttons and stuff to do. We can add labels and everything uh, just just the same in here. So if I were to make this uh, label above this button, I could do GUI layout dot label. 
uh, stuff, I guess. And we'll make another one and call it stuff2 just because we can. And we'll call this one button2, stuff2 and button2. Let's press play. There we go. We have stuff, button, stuff2, button2. So you can see how uh, we can um, manipulate what's going on inside of the window without having to make rectangles for absolutely every single thing. Otherwise, you have a million rectangles. And this is much nicer to just be able to do uh, to do your layouts, um, add spacing. Let's add 15 pixels on this one, and let's add 25 pixels on the other. Add your spacing. Um, and all of that stuff without having to um, make rectangles for everything. So I hope this helps out, and I want to get this one up quickly because I know uh, some of you may be wondering, you know, why you've been making so many rectangles for absolutely everything. So uh, with that, um, thanks for watching.